This short presentation will introduce the presentation of multiple quantities. Before we look at how they're presented on dimension paper, let's look at an appropriate example. You might like to take the opportunity at this point to copy down the sketch on the board. This sketch shows a section of a garden wall. You can see that the garden wall is 12 metres in length, but consists of three different heights that steps down as we approach the rear of the garden. If we look at this garden wall, we can see that there are three distinct sections. Section A, where we have a brick wall which is 7 metres by 2 metres high. Section B, where we have the brick wall which is 3 metres by 1.75 metres high and the last section which is 2 metres by 1.5 metres high. Let me draw your attention to how I've annotated the drawing because this will be relevant when we actually calculate our quantities. I have clearly annotated the drawing in terms of A, B and C. Let us now look at how we would measure that garden wall. Note we have three different dimension entries corresponding to the three different heights of that garden wall. Also note the use of signposting which relates to how I've annotated the drawing. You may like to take the opportunity to look back at the drawing on this short video. Section A was 7 metres in length by 2 metres high. Section B was 3 metres in length by 1.75 metres high and section C was 2 metres by 1.5 metres high. Now let's look at how we work out the net area for that wall. This we do by a process of squaring. So let's look again at section A. To work out the total area for section A we multiply the length by the width so we're saying to ourselves, 7 by 2 is 14. And we put the answer to that in the squaring column. Notice that we are presenting that dimension in metres to two decimal places, even when we don't have a value here. Also note the position of that answer. It lies directly in line with the last dimension in the dimension set. Also notice that there is no underlining in the squaring column at this point. Now let's look at the middle section of the wall. 3 metres in length by 1.75 metres high gives us a total area of 5.25. Again, note the position and the note that there is no underlining. Now let's consider the third and final section. 2 metres in length by 1.5 metres high gives us a total area for section 3 of 3 metres. Now note the underlining. This underlining is here because we have no more dimension entries. So we underline and then to work out the total area of brickwork we add up everything above the line. So 14 metres plus 5.25 metres plus 3 metres gives us a total garden wall area of 22.25 metres squared. Note the use of the double underlining. Also note that we have a description in the description column. The position of that description should go in line with the first dimension entry. Also note the use of these long straight brackets. They identify that all these measurements belong to the brickwork wall and they run from the top of the first dimension entry to the total.